Hello and welcome back to another video. So today I am going to talk about the Minecraft Live that was recently announced I'm a, and I'm also going to give my opinion on the new like drop thing they basically, so it's basically like Mojang's new update to uh, you know how they're going to do updates in the future. So first let's talk about what we've seen about the Speaking of all that, so basically there's going to be this new biome and it's got like the pale garden biome I believe it's called and it's got these trees that have black bark and the, uh, uh, yeah black bark with a white like wood interior and make white plants and that, it all looks cool yeah but always nice to have a new type of wood uh, and then the and in it the in the trees can spawn the creaking heart, with hearts which they uh, will summon a uh, the creaking when it gets dark, and they're basically weeping angels from Doctor Who or boos from Mario, depending on what you're more familiar with. When I saw them, my first thought was is just the uh, the weeping angels from Doctor Who, and if there's a texture pack for Minecraft Bedrock to change them into weeping angels, I am using that shit. Anyway, um. So yeah, uh, it's pretty it's cool. Like it, we've not seen much. Um, a little, little bit concerned because we again we've not seen much. But the reason I have reasons to be concerned and reasons to not be concerned about that. Reasons to not be concerned is that they don't to, they you know Mojang don't you don't show everything off in like the first trailer. So we're probably gonna get. More information later on, but my reason to be concerned is that they said is I think they said something to the tune of that the update of it is going to come in the, the coming months, which makes me think it's going to be like the Christmas update because I, Mojang love to do an update around Christmas time to like sort of in uh you know uh to sort of like get you know for like new players to mess around have some new stuff to mess around with and stuff like that and get people playing around that time of the year so and to drive sales so it's kind of like uh, this might be a bit bit boons and you might not and in a few months we might not really care about this other than the new wood type which at least it's not like a mangrove wood which is just annoying to Harvest this wood seems at least right now This could be a placeholder, but right now the trees basically look like uh, dark oak trees That's basically the same like growing or like whatever You want to say call it that's how they grow basically and it shows like yep, that's fine Not too bad to clean up because you know, it's just a short tree with not many branches, so easy to harvest and uh, all that. Um, but I really think what this bone needs is like a unique ore or something, some sort of resource for us to want to go there and uh, you know actually do something. Like I don't want, I don't, I'm not talking about like oh new or new like uh. Titanium ore, which is better than diamond armor. I'm just like saying, like, oh, maybe like a new resource that's used to craft a new tool or something that we can use. That's even if it's just like quality of life or something, you know, just something to make us to want to go there to for for whatever reason. Um, that's why I really think this biome is lacking right now because if you just want the wood, you just go there, chop down a couple of trees, get the sap. You join the day, get the saplings, you don't even see the creaking. Um, and then you leave and never go back. So, yeah. There needs to be something that will make us want to spend time there. Probably, there'll probably be something that will make us want to spend time there specifically during the night because that's when the creakings will be spawning and you have to get rid of the creaking hearts. Um, so it'll be probably like a mo unique mob spawn at night that drops an item that, I don't know, you use to craft an upgraded, that, I don't know, upgraded, uh, 
uh, what is it called? Um, bundles, upgraded bundles. Or something. I don't know. But basically, this biome needs. And that's what I'm saying here is the biome needs something for us to get want to go there. Um, now let's talk about the Mojang's new drop system. So basically, we used to have just like one big update every year, but it kind of didn't work, especially with COVID and all that. But they've just not been good to like do doing one big update a year. With like maybe with like one small update, which what which used to be the what the, they took that which is what they said they were going to do before this. Um, because if you look at the wild update, that, yeah, the like there's a reason why people call it the mild update. Like ignoring all the means and everything, it was quite underwhelming. And then you have the yeah. Then you have like the, the yeah, and then you have like keys and cliffs part being split into two parts, and can't and that sort of like losing a lot of it its luster because it was split into two parts. Yeah, so they've not. So I think with them focusing more on smaller, more regular, high quality updates, and then maybe working on a bigger update on the side, getting that to all like figured out before even announcing it is a good idea so just have like small updates like updating like maybe a single biome or adding or focusing around like a single feature like this uh, next drop will be uh, has been announced and it will be hardcore for bedrock edition with bundles for both java and bedrock so i think it was like bundles and bravery i think they called it it's like yes that's a uh, that's a good way to do the drops a small a smaller feature, maybe one technically being exclusive to Bedrock, but it's more like a parity change. Depends on how depends on how you look at it, but but you basically just get a couple of smaller features, uh, that uh, just pr that are just like improving the game a bit, and the, you know they don't have to be you know oh my god this is like the best thing ever. It's just like smaller things just to improve the game. And then I think that'll hold us over until while well, they just like work in the background on a bigger update to, you know, something more impactful. Um, and then, and then it, because they don't, and because they're not announcing this bigger update that they're working on in the background, if it needs to be delayed, nobody cares. Just ah, oh, actually, we were originally planning to announce this and blah blah blah, but we're not going to be able to make it the but it's. You know, we're having trouble with X or Y, so we should probably uh, push the announcement back a bit further so we can work on those features. And I'm willing to bet that's what they they are going to do. They are just going to be, you know, working on and publicly announcing the smaller, more quality of life or just single biome uh, updates while working on bigger updates in the background. Like, I can... Uh, I can assure you that they've been working on the, like the creaking for eight and the, the uh, uh, pale grove biome for ages, uh, and we're only probably only we're only just hearing about it's new. Um, yeah, but it does look cool. I hope that uh, you know, like I said, uh, TLDR uh, new the creaking and all that looks cool. Could hopefully get more information on it, revealing some reason why we want that to go there beyond just getting the new type of wood. And yeah, and yeah, the new drop system could, uh, you know, legitimately be, uh, you know, better for the community. So yeah, hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Hope to see you guys in the next video, and bye bye.